The chain of custody is fundamental to the mold testing process. Your company's personalized chain of custody form can be found on the Inspector Lab website resources page at the address you see on your screen. The How to Access My Inspector Lab Resources page video covers the details of how to download your personalized chain of custody. A chain of custody form tracks the sample history from making an appointment, collecting the samples, specifying what kind of samples were taken and when, and confirmation of the samples arriving at Inspector Lab. The chain of custody is your record of events and sample handling. The important collection information for the samples must be completed on the chain of custody form so the laboratory can process and analyze your samples accurately and without delay. A properly filled out chain of custody also ensures you and your clients that all of the samples you collect can be traced to the correct address and sample location at the collection address. Providing this information gives your clients confidence in the mold services and results and avoids problems should you ever be litigated in the future. Providing this information gives your clients confidence in the mold services and results and avoids problems should you ever be involved in litigation in the future. You should download the chain of custody form from the Inspector Lab website before arriving at the location where samples will be taken. A chain of custody is initiated when samples are collected. The collection details are recorded on the chain of custody and sent to the laboratory along with the samples taken. The transactions verifying that the samples were passed from you to Inspector Lab are detailed on the chain of custody by requiring a signature at each step of the process. The original chain of custody form is maintained at Inspector Lab. However, a completed chain of custody that includes all the signatures detailing who handled, analyzed, and reported the samples is scanned and uploaded on the Inspector Lab website and is available to you when the report is released. Missing or incomplete information on the chain of custody may result in the samples being placed on hold until you can be reached to clarify and or fill in the missing portions of the chain of custody form. The downloaded chain of custody has a customized barcode in the top middle of the form. This is unique to you. If you use this barcode, you do not have to fill in your company's information. This barcode has all of the contact information that you entered for your company on the Inspector Lab or RWS website. The reports will default to that information. The barcode frees you from having to tediously enter your company contact information every time you fill out a chain of custody because when Inspector Lab scans your barcode, your company information is automatically filled in on the mold report. This prevents errors that may be introduced when Inspector Lab receives your samples. The property location information must include an address, city, state, and zip code. This indicates where the samples were collected. A property name is not essential, but if you want it to be on the mold report, it should be entered on the chain of custody. If you have completed appointment information on the ISN or recall check or inspector lab or any of the other inspector services groups websites, Property details will automatically be populated in the property location information on the chain of custody when it is logged into laboratory for analysis. Filling out the location information from the appointment speeds up the login process and reduces transcription errors. Details of the turnaround time code, total volume over area, and sample type code are important and the default information is on the chain of custody. It is most important to provide the total volume of air sampled. If you are using aerosols, this is normally 150 liters. The sample serial numbers should match the devices you are using. Swabs do not have serial numbers, so you should devise your own simple system for labeling them. The details on the Inspector Lab mold report will appear exactly how you enter them for the samples collected. Sample notes will not appear on the report. After all of the collected samples have been documented and detailed, don't forget to sign and date the chain of custody on the bottom in the section that is labeled relinquished by. This is what a completed chain of custody should look like. An information chain of custody was provided to you in your getting started email, but it is also available on the Inspector Lab Resources Frequently Asked Questions page.